All right, what's happening, guys? I'm back. I know it's been taking a minute for me to make another video, but I'm stationed in Yakuska, Japan, and I just came off deployment, so uh, just pretty busy, pretty busy uh, schedule trying to find time to make make a video right now. I'm in Yokohama right now. Today we're gonna be talking about Navy PT when you're in boot camp and getting beat. And you know what I mean, getting beat. I'm talking about when you're in your compartment or wherever you're at and your RDCs, you're gonna hit that six pack. You're gonna hit the deck. Let's get into it. Ben's watching me make a video. All right, but listen, let's get into it. All right, so when you when you get to boot camp, your first week, when you're in P days, you're not gonna get beat, all right? You're not gonna get beat, none of that. So you're gonna be thinking like, boot camp, this ain't about nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like. This ain't nothing, this is a joke. But I lie you not, after you get clear fifth or full from uh from medical, that's what the whole PDA thing for, when you get fifth or full, I, I lie you not, the second after they get them hard cards, you on the deck, you on the deck, uh, 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 you pushing it out, you pushing it out. So listen, but it, I try to tell you, it get better, it get better. Cause the first couple weeks of getting beat, you're gonna be like, oh, oh. And then, when you start getting beat for other people, like when they start telling you that one team, one fight, and you start getting beat for dumb Johnny over here, decide to be late to the tow line, oh, you you, you, gonna, you gonna get a little heated. But, um, all right, so let's run through uh, the actual PT. So when you go to Freedom Hall, uh, where I went, I was on ship six, USS Constitution, baby, but, all right, their PT is sometimes you're gonna do shuttle runs. I forgot the name of it, but it's like where you run for a certain amount of time each time and you can't stop running. But you run at your own pace. You're not running with like a division or anything. You're running with the whole division, but they let you run at your own pace. You just can't stop running. First one's, I think, 12 minutes. No, six minutes, 12 minutes, 15, and I think it jumped up to 20. Every Saturday, it's like, like a field day type thing where you do different exercises, like you might do jump rope, pull-ups, like the high jump, the football things. I forgot what they call it, but it's a whole bunch of different events that you do on Saturday. Oh, and every time before you start uh, do exercise at PT, you have warm-ups, uh, stretches and everything. You might do like, like, like chest stretch, you like this, uh, these, this, um, and everything is a slow and controlled exercise. So you you gonna hear that every time. This is a slow control exercise exercise, and don't switch to another exercise until they say the second exercise. So this is a slow control exercise exercise. And that's when you that's the big thing when you're doing when you know you have like the condition running where you can't stop like 20 minutes. Make sure you hydrate in like a day before, like a day or two before. Like don't. You're gonna have no choice but to hydrate, but make sure you really hydrate. Depending on what time you go, it might be hot. Uh, it might be any of that. Now, what everybody wanna know, getting beat in the compartment. So I lie to you not, you will get beat for the smallest thing. Uh, I was I was a yeoman, so I literally, like, like the divisional staff, you, if you're the divisional staff, you really gonna get beat for anything that everybody else do too. Division staff in charge to make sure that everybody stay in that rack, only seven out the rack at, at night, right? When uh, like the OD come in in the middle of the night and it's more than seven out the rack, they let your uh, your RDCs know and when they come in, why more than seven people out the rack? I don't know. So you gonna hit that deck. I wouldn't go into boot camp trying to, trying to find ways to not get beat. Like just take the boot camp experience like, it's fun, it's fun after. It's not fun during. It's that experience. You don't don't be one of them guys that had a little soft boot camp experience. And then people like me that really got beat all the time. I'm gonna look at you like, man, go ahead, man. I ain't trying to hear none of that. I can tell you, I got one time I got beat because uh my RDC, are you supposed to have your training guy with you at all times? And I had my training guy in my hand. And my RDC, he would like to come up and he'd like, look, he'd be like, they come up, he try to hit the book out your hand. Right? You come on hit try him a book. Moving like this. So he said he said he said, dude, I promise you, man, I will 
he, he started cussing me out, right? And I'm just sitting here like, really, nigga? But I ain't let him hit my book. So, got beat for not letting him hit my book. And he made me hold my book there and smack it out of my hand. And I still got beat for it. I can tell you, being in the all-male division, especially if you go into shift six, ooh, ooh, you got it coming. I'm trying to tell you. But it's fun, is it? Mm, never mind. It's not fun. Here's another thing. Uh, getting beat in the compartment, they go off an orange car, which will have like 10 counts. Pillar bridges, and mountain climbers, push-ups. The push-ups usually go to 30. Jumping jacks, flutter kicks, in and out. And let me tell you, in and outs with boots on, Bruh. but you will learn to hate 10 counts. I still wake up middle of the night, breathing hard. Woo, your next exercise will be 10 count core builders. Begin, one, two, no. Quick overview of how it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Just giving you a little insight. I can't give you everything because then you're not going to really enjoy boot camp. I'm not going to be the type. I'm going to spoil it for you. I'm going to let you get yourself beat a little bit. Just, just a little bit. But I'm going to give you enough to where you prepare. Before you go into boot camp, work on your push-up. Work on compound movements that help you with everything. Get your core straight and get your push-ups good. You should be fine. You will come out of boot camp in probably one of the best shapes of your life. That's just it for this video. I'm gonna have more to come, and I'm gonna have more when I hit different ports. Now that I just came from Australia, I wish I would have had my camera with me, but you know it is what it is. If you subscribe while I've been moving around, thank you. Thanks for the support. Thanks for all the comments. I've been getting all the feedback. You know, keep the questions coming. I try to answer all of them, but a lot of times I don't have like a steady connection. But thanks for the support, and I'm out.